Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video we will see how to implement manual job with Spring Boot using Spring Batch. In last video we have seen how to implement job scheduler if you have not watched then please watch it so this video is for special purpose like instead of automatically I want to trigger a job manually or on demand then this will help so first thing I will clear why that job is required so for example in some scenario then execution process needs a lot of time like I want to upload hundreds of files or send email to thousands of employees so such kind of cases execution takes more time so instead of normal call we create a cron job so that job will take care of this I hope now you know the purpose of job it's easy only you need to follow certain things I'm sure you want to get easily let's implement and see what are the things required to configure a manual job whatever code we added till now it's available in github so let's download code from git extract it and add it to spring source Let's do some cleanup activity. So let's remove some unwanted code from Palm XML. Let's change our defected from demo to Spring Boot. No test cases so remove test dependency. Remove Scala dependency and remove all repository related stuff. Delete test folder for this point of time. Delete project and import again. As you can see after changing artifacted project name changed. Let's add Spring Batch dependency, so in Spring Boot naming convention is enough to identify, no need for version. Let's copy one of the dependency and change artifact id. See downloading starts for Spring Batch. Let's add some batch related configuration in application properties files. Auto configuration for Spring Batch. By default, a runner will be created and all jobs in the context will be executed on startup. So for disable, this behavior makes it false job enabled property. Only one configuration is enough. Now let's enable batch processing at an application level. So here entry point is application.java class. So add required annotation. Enable spring batch features and provide a base configuration for setting up batch jobs in a configuration class. Roughly equivalent to using the batch XML namespace. Let's create the separate package to keep batch related stuff. The package name is Tasklet and the class name is Batch Tasklet and this class must be implemented Tasklet interface. So now we need to override execute method. Let's mark this class as a service. Let's create one more package to keep all configuration related stuff. This time we keep only batch config class. Using auto our capable bean factory class just to demo how that works instead of that can also use directly auto iron. Let's create one method to configure Tasklet.
let's create one more method to configure step using step builder factory and that will help to execute config tasklet method. Mark this method as a bean. Let's create one more method to configure job using job builder factory. Mark this method as a bean. Now we need to create the controller. As I mentioned earlier this is the manual job. So for executing job request will come from the front end, and will start a background job. To make it simple controller name is a batch controller. So careful, this configuration is very important. The name itself explains the purpose of job launcher and the job object. So here I am adding only one parameter so same way you can add multiple also. Just to make sure that name should be same, here is only one, if multiple then name matters. Let's run and see it's working or not. Actually, in the last video, we implemented job scheduler for every 5 and 10 seconds so it's creating lot of logs so comment those lines so can see spring batch execution is happening or not. Now let's check, as you know job name could be anything because we make it as a path variable. So after batch, whatever text it is, it will execute spring batch job. Oops it's giving no mapping available, means some error is coming not only for new even old also not working. Let's first fix that. Actually, one properly got changed, maybe spring release something, let's change. Let's check again, start with user list, ok list is coming, now let's change user with batch and after that add any tag. See it's working, job executed.
Let's execute again. Oops exception is coming. Let's see what is it. Let's fix it. It seems you can execute job multiple times. So let's add one more parameter for timestamp. That's it. Let's check again. See now it's working, so like that, you can add as many as parameters. Let's change job name, here is only one job so it won't create any problem, but if multiple then think twice before changing any name. See it's working. Let's add some database related call. So now let's see when I call this job, the user list is coming or not. See it's calling user list related stuff. Same way you can add any database related call. Let's print some basic stuff. See job name is coming. Let's add some sleep time because in real time environment execution will take a lot of time. As you can see it works as a background process. Just for a save side you can add qualifier with the job name because sometimes it gives the exception. Let's review whatever code we added. The best place to learn about all that goes through the spring documentation, like see what is tasklet and what is the use of execute method. So tasklet, strategy for processing in a step, execute method, given the current context in the form of a step contribution, do whatever is necessary to process this unit inside the transaction. Implementations return repeat status if finished, if not then return continuable. On failure throws an exception. Let's see what is step contribution and chunk context. Step contribution, represents a contribution to a step execution, buffering changes until they can be applied at a chunk boundary. Chunk context. 
context object for weekly type data stored for the duration of a chunk usually a group of items processed together in a transaction. If there is a rollback and the chunk is retried the same context will be associated with it. Auto are capable being factory. An extension of the Bean Factory interface, capable of auto wiring, provided that they want to expose this functionality for existing Bean instances. Job Builder Factory, the convenient factory for a job builder which sets the job repository automatically. Step Builder Factory, the convenient factory for a step builder which sets the job repository and platform transaction manager automatically. Job parameters, value object representing runtime parameters to a batch job, because those parameters have no individual meaning. Outside of the job parameters they are contained within. It is a value object rather than an entity. It is also extremely important that a parameter's object can be reliably compared to another for equality. In order to determine if one job parameters object equals another. Furthermore, because these parameters will need to be persisted, it is vital that the types added are restricted. Let's commit code to GitHub, whatever we added. See it's done. Changes are available. I hope you like this video, then please subscribe our channel.